Hey, Coach, how's it going? Today, we are going to do the best that we can do about lowering the barrier to entry for aquatics, okay? And how do we do this? This is going to be a game changer for you as a coach because it'll set you apart. It may cost you a little bit, but if you raise your overall prices over the bulk amount and figure it out easily, this can make a huge difference for you because it costs so little, so little really in reality for you, but it puts the onus and the reduced amount of equipment needed on the parents, which is ginormous because all you have to do is compare it to any other sport and it's through the roof. So have you mentioned in your sales letters, in your communications, how little it takes in terms of equipment to start being an aquatics athlete, either a swimmer, water polo player, artistic swimmer, or a diver, what do you, in reality in aquatics do you really need? And as a coach, you are the provider for the majority of those things anyway. So let's just use swimming as an example, right? Okay, we're gonna just talk about what you need for swimming and then compare it to maybe one of the other cheaper sports. And I'm not knocking soccer, but it's a cheap sport, it's great. It's awesome. So many people around the world, it's the most popular sport in the entire world. And there's a reason behind that because it takes so little just to get into. In reality, in soccer, you need a ball. You don't even need shoes. Okay. And you need some sort of setup that it signifies a goal. Okay. So you need a ball basically is all you need to, to play soccer. But in the United States, it's a little different. Okay. So let's talk about what you really need for swimming. Okay. You need a swimsuit. You cannot swim naked, okay? You're probably gonna need goggles, depending if it's water polo, artistic swimming, you might not need goggles. Diving, you don't need goggles, okay? And for girls, that hair is gonna get in the way and cause a problem, you probably should have a swim cap, okay? If you, I've coached girls before that don't wanna wear a swim cap or even guys that have long hair, they just do it, put in a bun and they put their water polo cap on or they put in a tight bun for diving, you don't need a cap. Artistic swimming, they team seem to put it designed in a bun, so they don't necessarily need a swim cap, but it helps. It's easier to have a swim cap, okay? So let's go down the pricing real quick. Person needs a swimsuit. That can be as cheap as $15 to $20. Girls can be $34. Goggles can be $5. Swim cap can be $1. So you're in the realm of like $40 to $50 to start, okay? Now, compare that to, we'll use soccer, Okay. To start soccer, American soccer, right? Football, all right, World Cup. You're going to probably need cleats because you want to be the best of the best and have cleats. You're going to want to have shorts, shirt, jersey, right? A jersey for your squad, all right, with cleats. And you're going to have shin guards, okay, and socks. So those are probably going to add up to more than the suit, goggles, and swim cap. And now I'm going to say something completely profound, okay? You as a coach could do something magical that no one else is doing. You might be able to just provide them with caps. It's only the girls mostly and some guys with long hair. You might even be able to have a storage bin of goggles that everyone could just use for practice. That's what we're going to start using in our facility. We're going to buy 100 pairs of goggles at a discount bulk, have them in a bin. The kids go over, grab the goggles, use them, and then put them back. Simple, right? All right, you're going to lose a couple, whatever but there's no complaints if I don't have goggles, my goggles don't fit, whatever. They're all the same, all right? Or if the kids want to bring their own goggles, they bring their own goggles, okay? It's fine, but you have the ability. Coach, you can reduce the barrier of entry for these kids. And then, lo and behold, if you're really firing on all cylinders, you can even make it, you can give them a swimsuit. Whoa, barrier of entry just shrunk. The person just has to pay for the coaching. You provided so much value. You provided a cap, goggles, and suit. If you do this, the moment they sign up, their brain will explode and they will be full of excitement because they've got all the stuff just like their team does. Everyone's wearing the same stuff. Everyone's in the same group. Everyone's together as a unit. You are part of the group now because look at all the cool stuff that you got for free. Figure that out. How can you do that in your business? If you need help figuring out how to do that in the business, contact me, text me with the description in the below, email in the description below. We are part of the group and coaching group of making money coaching sports. That is our job to help you make money coaching sports to get more kids. For me, I want more kids swimming. I want more kids doing aquatic sports. My goal is for every single kid to be playing sports 
or using of being able to swim so you have more access to coaching okay more access for coaching aquatics lower the barrier of entry provide the low level equipment stuff easily for them and you'll see how many more kids will thrive in your program have a great day Thank you.